Okay, so move now on to part B, and we've got to differentiate this particular expression. So in part B then, let's just put down that f of x is equal to 4x minus 6 all over 2x minus 1. And so we've got to find the differential of f of x. So that will be noted as f dash x. We better put therefore. Now in order to differentiate an expression like this, this particular question is testing our knowledge of the quotient rule. And hopefully you remember the quotient rule. Let's just recap, okay, over here on the right hand side, that if you have y equals u over v, where u and v are functions of x, okay, in this case u is the 4x minus 6 and v is the 2x minus 1, we should know, mind you this is documented anyway in the formula book, but we should know that dy dx is the denominator, which is v, times the differential with respect to x of the numerator, so that's du dx. Then it's minus the numerator, that's u, times the differential with respect to x of the denominator, so that's dv dx. And all this is over the denominator squared, that's v squared. Alright, so let's just uh, go ahead and write down what f dash x is. So according to the quotient rule, it's v, the denominator, so I'll write down 2x minus 1, put that in brackets, and we multiply this by the differential of the numerator, that's du dx. So if I differentiate the numerator, differential of 4x respect to x is 4, and the differential of negative 6, well that's the constant and that goes to 0, so simply 4. Then it's minus, and then I've got to write down the numerator, my u part, 4x minus 6, and now multiply it by the differential of the denominator with respect to x. In other words, dv dx. Differentiating 2x minus 1 then becomes simply 2. So put that in brackets, okay? And all this lot is all over the denominator squared, v squared. So if I square the denominator, I get 2x minus 1, all squared. Alright? Now what I find a lot of my students doing uh, is making a very common error at this stage. Quite often you find them cancelling out the 2x minus 1, for instance, into the 2x minus 1 all squared here. You can't do that. You can't do that because you've got two terms on the top here, and 2x minus 1 doesn't appear as a common factor in this term and this term. So don't fall for that trap, okay? That's always going to uh, appear in the quotient rule that you can always cancel out this with this, so don't make that uh, error. So, okay, let's just tidy this up. Okay, I'm going to expand this bracket here. We've got four lots of 2x minus 1, so that's going to be 8x minus 4. And be careful here, this is 2 down here, but if I was to imagine it at the front, it would be minus 2 times everything in the bracket. So it's minus 2 times the 4x, which is minus 8x. And then you've got minus 2 times the uh, minus 6, so that's plus 12. Okay, and all this is over 2x minus 1, all squared. So cleaning this up, we have 8x take 8x, so that's gone, and then 12 minus 4, which is 8. So that's all over 2x minus 1, all squared. Okay, so we have f dash x then expressed in its simplest form as 8 over 2x minus 1, all squared.
And okay, so that brings us now to the end of question two.